Howdy, YouTubers. Today, I will be relining this old rivet forge that I have. Um, this is what I use all the time, and the pan is burning out on it, so we will reline it. So I have plaster of Paris. Picked this up at Home Depot. You know, big box store. And some kitty litter. Just uh, really cheap Walmart kitty litter. Uh, and I ground it in a coffee grinder until I could get it as fine as I could. And what we're going to do is mix, you know, 50-50, one, one part of the clay with one part of the plaster of Paris and get that going. Uh, we'll smear it around. As you can see, I'm demonstrating make the twee air and here, here I am mixing my plaster in Paris and my clay together. I made sure that they were incorporated well before I uh, added the water. It says use cold water. I mean, you don't get much time for a, uh, uh, for, for it. I mean, it sets up fast. It says six to 10 minutes. I don't think I got that. So get it incorporated the best you can and hustle. I, uh, you know, throwing it in here as, as fast as I can, and, and it was actually setting up, hardening, and warming up. Uh, so, you know, work your little twee air. Make sure you have a spot. Clean out your air holes with whatever means. I got some pieces of wire, and I scraped around and, and just tried to keep it cleared out. Um, didn't have enough, so I need to make a second batch. So here I am laying the second batch on, and... Um, you know, just kind of smoothing it out, hoping to get a nice little, you know, fist-sized area in the center where it will, um, you know, where my cold can burn. So what I did learn on this second batch, uh, as I'm trying to, to, you know, spread it out, is uh, I dip my hand in my uh, quench bucket. This is in my forge area, so I, uh, I go over and uh, dip my hand in my quench bucket, get my hand wet. And uh, that works good. It, you know, it helps actually to smooth it out. I wish I would have figured that out on the first pass, but maybe uh, since the uh, first pass, uh, first layer will have uh, some more tooth to it, maybe they'll stick together better. Uh, maybe that wouldn't be a good, good idea on the first pass. I probably could have mixed up even more for the second batch, but uh, I ran out of kitty litter. I had, Thought I had made up enough, but I didn't. So here I am just smoothing out where the twee air is, uh, just kind of, you know, spreading it out, getting it to, 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 you know, to a shape that will be sufficient. Once it starts to set, but it's not fully hardened, it actually works a lot like Bondo. You'll see I, uh, I grab a knife here in a second, and I start shaping it. And you can pretty much scrape it off. It... Um, it cuts rather nice. Uh, the knife I'm using is a uh, eight-layer Damascus made from an A10 Warthog uh, gun barrel. Um, and, you know, you, you make knives, you have knives laying around. So just kind of scraping it up, cleaning it up a bit. And there's one thing that I, I do lack is uh, patience. So they say, you know, let it sit a few days to dry out. Um, I um, I couldn't do it. I uh, cleaned it up a little bit the best I could, and I grabbed some lump charcoal and my torch and get it going. Figuring that I'll, uh, I've got some old crappy briquettes that have been laying around for a few years, so I'm going to pile them on. They won't burn as hot. So once this lump gets going, I make a pile of briquettes, and I figure once I get that briquette pile fired up, I can spread them out. They won't burn that hot, you know, relatively. And so uh, it'll be a good way to, you know, kind of get that to dry out, drive some of the moisture out of it. I'm not sure if it will cure. You know, I'm not sure if the clay will actually fire once it's, uh, once it's there. You know, once I get a coal fire going on it, we'll, we'll have to see after that. So... You know, air, no air, just to get it to where I could get the pile, like, good and lit. And then I will spread them out 
and um, let it to uh, leave it this to dry. It's coming. Don't worry. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching my channel. I appreciate it. Here I am spreading out the coals. Um, yeah, it's uh, please like and subscribe when you uh, if you like the videos. I'm using cheap Walmart kitty litter, special kitty, all natural, and um, and here it is after I've cleaned out the ashes, and uh, here it is with some coal in there. So again. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video. And here's our president-elect giving his support.